Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. Welcome to Home Garden and Fashion. Today we're going to talk about how to create this beautiful tiny little mug rug. This is a mug rug completely handmade and this doesn't require much of a fabric or anything. So what we need to make this beautiful mug rug is you use one of the old, one of the old mug rug use one of these old mug rug and you just need little bit of fabric so you take the old mug rug put inside a tiny little piece of fabric you have laying around and then you need some needle and thread and you need little bit of contrasting fabric so this is pink and this is black black is contrasting fabric so you need little bit of contrasting fabric so this is how the final product looks and it's a beautiful mug rug for putting your coffee cup or tea cup so let's work on this i have this old mug rug which i want to transform and this is the way to transform you put it inside a little piece of fabric just measure it oh i made this cute little pin cushion slash needle cushion I'm going to discuss this one in my next video so let's work in the mug rug this one. now you need to put it in the middle and then sew all the four sides so just basic stitch just basic stitch to all the four sides more you fold better it is and then just basic running stitch and then these stitches will be covered once i put the contrasting fabric so give some basic running stitch to all the four sides i'm gonna do one side in front of you then i will go and finish the three the sides and then I'll come back and we will add the contrasting fabric so just hold like this just basic simple running stitch So like this you will be giving stitches to all the four sides so I will do all the four sides and then come back and show you what I do next so I gave basic running stitch to all the four sides now I have this contrasting fabric this contrasting fabric I need to fold a little bit in the side both the sides and now you put the contrasting fabric to this mug rag on the sides this is the way you're just covering the stitches and giving it a fancier look so this is i'm going to add this fabric to the side of it okay we're going to hold all this three together and stitch This is also a basic running stitch. Have a big needle because it's going to be a little bit thick. But you can run all these three in the machine. That's up to you whether you want to do this project without the machine or with the machine. So hold all this together and stitch and then afterwards you can put it under the machine and give final stitch or you can do tiny little hems in both the sides either way it's fine
like this I show you one side and I will finish three more side and then I'll show you the final hem so like that simple running stitch after you do one side then you add another fabric to the other side So like this, you'll be adding another fabric. It's just lined up, centered. You can pin it, that'll be easy. Or you can just hold it and stitch it. Since this is little, it'll be okay if you hold it and stitch it. If it's big, then you need to pin it. That's why I have the big needle because this is a little bit thick. So as you go like this, now I will go ahead and finish two more sides and meet you. Now I finished stitching all the four sides and I've added this black fabric to it. Now you can take it down under the machine and stitch all the four sides and you have yourself a beautiful Margaret. Or you can choose to cut down these stitches, hand stitches and put hem on it. So I will show you if you don't have a machine how you can put hem. To put hem you need the matching needle and thread and go underneath here and then you pick up this black fabric down here and this black fabric and put it up together now you pick up this pink fabric and this black fabric and together a little bit bending so you bend your needle and pick up the pink fabric and then the black fabric you go up so this is called hem and if you don't have a machine this works very well or if you don't want to do this in machine just to hand stitch a simple tiny cute little mug rag you go like this and you give hand stitch to both the sides not one side and then after you're done stitching both the sides then you can cut off this old running stitches so i will show you one more side this side with the hem stitch how you do hem and then you can do two more sides yourself you take your needle and bend it and pick up this pink fabric then you go underneath the black fabric and pick up the black fabric like this So once you're done the four side, then you'll take your scissor and you cut this old running stitches and pull it out. Because you have yourself new hem, you don't need this ugly looking running stitches. So you get rid of the running stitches. this so I'll finish one more side later just to show you I show you the two sides so there you have it yourself a beautiful mug rag which is practically done in 10 minutes all you need is just take your old rug and take a little bit of fabric matching and then stitch all the four sides the fabric should be the same length of your old rag length and width stitch all the four sides and then you take a contrasting fabric and cut it in four little pieces and then use that to stitch the sides so you cover up the sides 
and then you either run it under the machine or you give hands and there you have it yourself a cute little mug rag thank you so much for joining me this is melody from home garden and fashion please don't forget to like and subscribe thank you bye bye